Hello. Hi. Here we are coming to you from Fort Walton Beach, just trying to make this all work. We are. <laughs> so, but we're going to have fun today. I just put up a quick notice if you wanted to just grab a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper and a coordinating piece of cardstock. You can create what we're going to make today along with us, which will be fun. We have one mail. You know, we usually start with mail. And this actually came last week, but I said, we need to take that. It's such a Florida card. We just need to have one to show here because, you know, the rest are going to have to wait now till we get home. So, and hi, Brenda. Oh, good. So good when people are on and here. And it's to Tim. Oh, and it's to Tim from Liani Castro, <laughs> thanking him for sharing his fun attempts to make cards of his own. I love it. You have an eye for art. Thanks for making me smile and laugh. Oh, is that just wonderful? And this is just a beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that. That is just stunning. You got to open it up. Here, you can put it down. Oh, and look what else she sent. Let's put this on. I will uh, go over here. You can put it down here. <laughs> she is from California. And she sent us more, <laughs> more, moose. more, more moose. So we, Tim will never run out of moose. <laughs> Somebody said, somebody said, I already look like I have a tan. You're right. I've been sitting outside. <laughs> oh, that is great. So, Let's look at this up close. Here is this the is card just amazing. Look at this. Perfect for Florida and it's happy birthday. That is just beautiful. So it's a gate folder. It folds way. in the middle. You got to correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we got to correct. You know, we have no idea. It's like batting 50 50. <laughs> so it's great. <laughs> Yeah, we're hoping it warms up here. It's a little chilly, but you know, some part of the day is nice. And we're we're outside anyway. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Thank you. Is it Leone? Leone, however you say your name? That is a fabulous card. Thank so. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we just had to start with that. I like I like getting cards. So. Oh, Tim loves it. It's great. So we're gonna make today. Uh, we're gonna make a bunch a bunch of these. I just love these. These are I call them I call them pocket cards, because this is. This is the size of the envelope. And inside, it's just a cute little pocket card. And we're going to do, I, I love doing these. You know, I planned, since we're going to be here for a month, I planned a lot of lives that will be uh, easy to do and didn't require a lot of stuff to bring. But I think this is, you just kind of tuck them in. <laughs> so people love that card. So how fun is that? Yeah, and we hear there's uh, more snow and bitter cold coming at home. So I guess we better not complain about how cool it is here, right? <laughs> we just bundle up and we're out on the deck. <laughs> so, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. This might work. Okay, we're, st we're still trying our tech. So, so of course, we're going to start the first one. I got to do one with the beach card with this. But I'm going to explain what you need if you have your paper. And, of course, this is going to be up on the blog tomorrow. So we want a base card. That is a quarter sheet of paper, and you can use either white or colored paper. And then your designer series paper. So we're going to want one that's four inches by five and a quarter. And then the other piece of designer series paper is three inches by eight inches. And then, uh, so anyway, this will all be on. And, and I'll explain the size of this. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then these are three and a half inch square and three and a quarter inch square. So we're just going to enjoy making a bunch of cards and then just know I will put on the show notes too what these sizes are. So it's really easy to come by. Okay. So to make the base card, we're just going to layer like we always do. We always talk about going a quarter inch smaller. Oh, they got five inches of snow in southwestern Minnesota. Well, we aren't missing that. That's where Karen and I grew up in Jackson. Yes, that's our hometown. So I'm going to be doing a lot of beach cards, obviously, since we're down here. But I just thought, I just love that you can take any pattern paper and make these fun cards. This is eight inches long. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to just fold it in half, and this becomes my little pocket card. So once this is folded, this no, is facing this way. Yeah, no, that. I'm no. Well, doesn't this look right? Pocket. Tim, am I doing okay? I don't know. I think it's upside down. Oh no, <laughs> never mind. I together, we, we really try to make a hole together, but it doesn't always work. Just, I, you wait, Tim. You'll get your chance to make one. Okay. I, I just don't know why. Oh, I see. There you, you see, because it fits inside, and then. 
that makes it because this is then three by four inches. So then this will be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that's how we, if you just think of the quarter inch measurements and we love doing things that are like four and a quarter because it just makes your paper cutting really easy. And then of course I'll put a little smaller piece inside. We're not gonna worry about that right now. So this is the same thing repeated over and over and over again. Good, Sylvia, so glad to have you here. She said she made it live for a change. Oh my goodness, a bunch of you are having like six degrees. Okay, we, we won't complain, you guys. Although it, it is a little chilly <laughs> compared to what I was expecting, but no, it, it is really all good. Okay, now to make the pocket. So this is the only thing, the other thing about this, but this is one of those really easy things to always prepare. So I'm gonna do my three and a half inch square of white, or it could be that color, whatever I want and then three and a quarter inch square of my designer series paper. And I'm going to cut these in half. So obviously while you're at it, you might as well make two of these cards, you know? But I'm gonna put this in. Cut those. And then I'll do the same with this. I think these are just cute little cards and a lot of times it's fun to just do a card that doesn't have a whole lot of space to write <laughs> we all know that, how that goes okay now <laughs> tight corners here so finding places to put things okay so, so she she put that little thing on our, our stove burner or burner yes so, i did so I, I was thinking about warming some water up for tea. <laughs> yes, because I could use not. my tea right now, but you better not. And you know what? I forgot, Tim. No, it's just in, I'm, you're gonna you're gonna talk to people while I go get it because I really yeah. want my tear and tape for this. Back in Minnesota, look at this is yeah, yeah, back in Minnesota. I'm going to just put this on. Um, and actually, I'm gonna switch. You know, I used a colored background there, and I actually see I have another one ready. And I think I'm gonna like this with white. I should. So this is just playing around, but. Instead of using snail, and I could just use snail, but since I'm going to be making all of these live, I'd rather go get my tear and tape. Okay. And then you, you can do, it? no, you can put this on the top. So here's okay. my little little covering. Why don't you do that? that? Just, just with snail. Okay. Yep. Should it be showing? Okay. It just goes on the card. I, can, I, can, your card. I guess, yes, yeah. this turned in my card. This way we can work together, you see. You can put that on. I'll put this on. And I'm gonna put these on the edges. Do it on camera. Oh. So they can see the- Every, every last detail, technical. right? Technical. <laughs> and it's always gonna be interesting, you know, when you travel. I'd love to know if you guys travel, what do you take? I was going to put this question up in the back porch. Stampers. Everything. What do you take for crafting? You know, if you go travel, I was just um, really struck with thinking about that. Okay, so here's my pocket. Now, of course, if I'm doing this in person, you could tuck a little gift, gifty thing in here too. But isn't that fun? And then you pull it out. So there's nice. the card. That's the first card. And now we're going to just enjoy... So the rest of the cards will be made with the same percentages, 90% and 10%. <laughs> I don't need to make this one since I already made them. I'm just going to show here's going to be the second half since those were cut in half. So, you know, this is what that looks like. And we'll go through and find some more. So the next one we're going now, to do. The twine really does add to it. Yeah, it does. So you can embellish kind of however. And I, I realized I didn't and bring a lot of choices. And the stamp, stamp and yeah. I can have a stamp there. Or a little flower. We're being a little bit minimalistic because I didn't bring my whole stamp yes. room. Yes. <laughs> but, <She> brought, <laughs> but I brought quite a bit. 25% of it. Okay. So the next one we're going to do, see, I'm just going to let you fold this one in half. This way in half? Yep. And I guess I already put this one on, and I already, I did cut a bunch of these in half so that we would not have to do all of those Where's like, my of course, if I can find them. And of course I didn't bring that, but no you could do something like this. <laughs> it's got a bone folder. Close enough. No, this. this and I have a bunch of these that I just did. So we'll put those. Okay. 
I will cut this. So th this is how you can craft together. <laughs> Not necessarily successfully, but you know. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is, so I better wait. Uh, oh, you can do whatever you want. Well, no. Here's a little thing here. Here's this. Here's some uh, um, dimensionals. You're going to make the front, so we might as well just make these cards together instead of doing your own. We'll just see. Okay, and if I post pictures on my blog that don't look anything like you made today, you'll just know. I went in no. <laughs> we um. So this. Whatever happens, it's it's all just good. <laughs> okay, is that a problem? Oh, a bunch of you are saying you travel with paper pumpkin kits, which I just really love. This mm -hmm. is that a problem? Sticking is that a problem? Well, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, I did bring Tim. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. I said I had I, I changed what I brought. I was going to bring my <laughs> pile of unfinished things and just work on them here, but then I started thinking. You know what? I'm gonna be at the beach. I've got to make beach cards so that I brought my beach things. <laughs> you know, it just it it, it just kind of changed. Do you have little ones of these? And I brought to to go find them? a few packs of designer series paper, just so I could have those to play with. Like like for all these things. And you know how it's gonna be. I'm gonna think of all the things that I wish I'd brought. But isn't that what we do? But it's the same thing at home. I'll think of why didn't I order that? And I know you guys are all you can all relate to that. And so that's how our list grows. <laughs> I think it should be here right now, and now I have to wait for it. <laughs> so, and I did place one order, stamping up, being delivered. It's it's here. I hope they call me. Even overnighted it to go. <laughs> so, and then it was delayed from plain mechanical issues or something. So um, anyway, it's interesting. Okay. Because so I had to have some new things to play with. This goes on here. Yep. That goes on there. And on there. And then I might be missing. Where's my little. I, I will tell you I have all the pieces here. But I have some finished ones if they don't work out. I'm not sure this is what I had in mind, Tim, but, you know, today we're going to live with uh, it. That's, that was not me, right? That was not me. This looked like something I do. Okay. While he's doing that, I'm going to put the finished one in. This is the one I Yeah, but see how similar? But I like it popped up like that. But since I can't find my little red background, we're going to just finish it like this. Okay? Will that do? Yeah. I might change up a few of these before because I'm not happy with this. Um, but see, that's by the by the miracle of... The pictures I take can be a little bit different. <laughs> you melt my heart now. This rectangle is from the Stitch So Sweetly, I believe, frames. There are like three three of these sizes. I use these all the time. They layer. Oh, it's one of my most used little things. And they're just perfect little size to put on here. So, Tim, I like yours better, but I will switch. Are we okay with moving on? Yes. Okay. We'll move on. We'll come to the next one and see at the end I'll, I'll be able to find all my pieces. Okay, here comes the next one. Do you want to do the folding? What, what are all these little things for? Those are extra so that, see, this is the size, but I already cut them in half so they wouldn't have to watch me okay. cut those in half. I will what have you, you fold, fold that and then attach it to that. Which paper is this? You guys will know this one. Do choose? you know, Tim? This is the... Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> paisley. <laughs> it's Paisley. Okay. I, love, I love Paisley. We had a we had a grand dog, a grand dog named Paisley. Yes, didn't we? we did. Our Chicago so family. This, so this is out of the handsomely suited paper. So this Love just goes the on different here. stripes and the plaids. Yeah, that just goes on there. And then this is what's going to go on the on the front of that. So see, I just I, I just did all these just little assorted things before we came. And then we have this, oh, see, I really, I have to think about what I'm doing because I really would have rather had this go like this. <laughs> and I did this the second time. Um, but I wonder if I could put my, I, I'll put my pocket over on this side and it'll be just fine. And you know what? This time I'm not even gonna put it on the larger piece because I actually like it just, let's go for variety. I like it just tucked in there right along the same side. So. Okay, so does this This is This is how we stamp, right? So we're gonna put, 
Yeah, that's going to go in front. But but is, do I have to put it on one side or the other? You can do whatever you want. I know, but what's where's where's that going to be? This is going to be right here. Okay, so, so this however is going to go you want inside. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you're going to pull that out so then it kind of stands alone. And um, okay. this is the one that I have done. So see if we can tuck in mm. both and just see how they. So I can they, use these. Look, again. so I, the well suited paper. You're right. Thank you. So you guys even have time since we're just kind of chatting and doing this over and over. You see, you won't forget this. And it'll be quick, but you can grab some and do this right along with us. I think. Um, and oh, by the way, I was going to announce the winner. We had a winner for the. Um, we do a drawing every week over in the back porch stampers. We always have a theme, and this week it was Valentine's. We do have a winner, and then they get a little prize. It's, it's a drawing just for participating. This week, what I had I had to mention somebody had a made a Valentine out of Button Bear. Who here remembers Button Bear? So that's what came in the kit back when I joined 25 years ago last month. I think it's hilarious. And we didn't get to choose what came in the set. And that button bear has been around. So I thought, how fun was that? This week, you can probably guess, it's to make a pocket card like this, but using any paper, any designs, any patterns. We love to see variety, to see um, what all, all the different ideas are. So how cool is that? And then this is what I made earlier. And I think, how fun is that? And see, any of these could have details added. So that's just kind of a, a cool thing. Okay, let's go to our next one. Okay, we're, we're on a roll here, Tim. So we're, See, going, we're going pretty fast. Let's, let's talk about... Uh -huh. um, oh, our lovely wristbands so we can get that, to the pool. <laughs> this proves that we're staying here. It pr must prove that we're beach, you know, or by the pools. Okay, here's the here is the next one. Fold it in half. Yes. Um, your instructions don't really change from time to time. So I think we're just fine. And then it's going on here. And we could actually just start these. I think with the rest of them, we can just show. Today's going to be shorter. <laughs> At least this gives us some time to chat with you guys. Jana says, Button Bear is the first stamp she purchased. Wow, isn't that interesting? <laughs> it goes on this. Rhonda just yeah. made her Valentine's Day today. Yep, so this is what's going to go on top. Um... And like on this to kind of set it off. So you can kind of, it doesn't give you a whole lot of area to design there, but you can play around with it. No, nope, that's too, too, too much. We're going to use this. And do you know what's interesting? Oh, this is really interesting. We might be um, pinch hitting because when this is over. Because I don't see my um, background your, to make the pocket. Where's your little machine that dispense tape? Right there. Oh, there. Right there. The snail, um, I meant to. Okay, I meant to so use. I have one that's already done here, but I just want to show, do you see how you put paper inside? That'll be the same. But for some reason, somewhere in my luggage is missing the corner part, which is totally, totally fine. Let's see if we have some others that are already made or almost made. I will kind of try to work ahead here. <laughs> This is really because I'm it looks going deceiving. Too small. No, it looks deceiving, but this is really a tiny table. <laughs> so while he's working on that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll cut for the next one. That's crooked. I'm sorry, but it's the way it is. It is okay. Nice. You know, it's a, a fun uh, but I think this is really a useful design. Have you guys made the pocket cards before? That I just um and I love, I've always loved taking one idea and doing it in multiple papers because I think it just really shows the diversity of the looks that we can get. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Is this one of the papers that is actually a photograph of an actual art? Yes, it was art. It was a painting. Because you can and actually first, see. Yes, you can see, isn't it? It's, you can it looks, see the depth of field in it. Yeah, it, yeah it's really it's very nice. gorgeous. So, um Okay, this, just to be efficient, I'm just going to do this. I thought I had this pretty well planned, but oh my goodness, I don't seem to have. And here's the deal. I know they're in here somewhere. Ladora is cutting all the pieces so when her granddaughter comes over, they can make their Valentines. How think? How fun is that? Okay, does this go on something now? Yes, it, it goes in something that matches better than this. Okay. So we're just going so to pretend. Do it later? So we're going to do later because we're just going to, so, and from now on, we're just going to show them. Okay. 
because now you guys have the whole system down. <laughs> this, this is the reality of travel, but I thought, how fun is this? So you're going to know. But isn't this fun? Look at this little birthday. It's going to tuck in right there. And it's our little happy birthday. I think that's a really fun one. I haven't been putting white, white cards No, on No, because we would do that oh. before we sent them. But we would okay. need to do that on camera. So we're just going to show more of them now. Um, and then here will be, because you can see I just took all these different ones. So this is the like, true like love that. paper. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? That is. Okay. And so this is going to get its pocket going across. And I'm going to cut it the right way. Should we? Do you want to finish that one? Do you want to put one of those on? I'm going to cut this going that way. I actually did have all these organized. It's just when I took them out of the bag here, I think they... Uh, Oh, Tim, you just made a different kind of card. This is because it now will not be a pocket card. This is where the tape goes. No. <laughs> but this could be an interesting card, too. Let's okay. see. As long as we're into diversity, we'll take it. Okay. <laughs> That's just a different card. But it's crooked. <laughs> oh, do you want it straight? Well, <laughs> take it. <laughs> it's your card. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's oh. another possibility. <laughs> Tim, you it's your card. This? Of course, it's crooked. And it goes off. Yeah. Yes, yes. I will give the sizes again. I'll give the sizes on this on this next one. I think this okay. is so, really fun. Tune in next week for the correct way of doing this. <laughs> and the measurements, again, will be on my blog tomorrow. But you are starting with. Okay. The, but your base card is a quarter sheet of cardstock. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you have a piece of five and a quarter by four inch. That's that part. This part is three inches by eight, and that's what you're going to fold that. in half. And you can actually choose. Yep. You could choose. I mean, we'll do the finished ones we we're just showing. When you fold that in half, it's going to be did. three by four, because it was three by eight, so now it's going to be three by four. And so you're going to put that on a piece of three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Always just think your quarter inches. So that's what makes this really easy because you can come back and kind of, you know, and you could adapt these sizes a little, but that's what makes it easy to think about. If I was in charge, I'd be using one eighth inch because I really yes. like <laughs> You do mini cards. <laughs> Does this go on this? Or what's, 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 yeah, what? that goes on here. Okay, where do you put This that? is the base. It's, it might look like this or it might look like whatever you okay. want it to look so like. So I can put the tape on here. Yes. And then... <laughs> And then the only other thing you need are your two squares. And I'm using three and a quarter and three and a half. But you can vary that. Again, you know, measurements are just something to go on. All you need is your little corner thing to tuck these in. I got to pull one out that actually is tucked in. Okay, so we're getting there. You see, this is what this size looks like okay, do with three and a half. But it could be smaller. So just keep in mind, it could be a tuck-in card. You could put your thing across the bottom and have it be a tuck-in card. Uh, it is really just a little pocket card. And this is how today we're choosing to make a pocket. But your pockets could be totally different. So, uh, so I just think it's, you know, just fun to take an idea. But on just a minute, I'll cut the owl. You're going to cut it? Just instead of folding it? Well, I would cut it. Or we can do this off camera. No, let's do it now. You, you want to, okay, yeah. you're on a roll now. Okay. I am. Tim is on a roll, and then I'll just show the last couple while he finishes this card. But notice this is the, I love this paper, it's the field and flower, it's the, one of the free choices. Love the flowers on the black and this bumblebee color, okay. And I put these, yep, yeah, along the two edges so it would tuck okay. under. And then this is just the little finishing thing there. Oh, it had a little gem on it. Mm, that disappeared too. Okay, what else? Have we not done here? Okay, we haven't done this one. This is another of the free. Okay, so while, while he's working on his, I'm just going to show this is the other free paper. And this is just using the paper fussy cut. This is the, the little pocket card to go with that one. Yes, this fits in a regular size envelope. That is what's cool about it. Because if you notice, the base card, it's a quarter sheet of cardstock. And usually for a regular card, you cut a sheet of cardstock in half, either direction, and fold it in half. And that's your base card. So if you're doing it a quarter, ours doesn't open. So you get four 
uh, a sheet of paper. So it's the perfect size for fitting in an envelope. So it's just like look at how much waste anything else. waste that is. <laughs> I think I'm going to use it to close that side so you can't stick that little so it's no longer a pocket card. And what do you guys think? When we're done and it's time to finish up these cards, do you think Tim is going to say, oh, yeah, Karen, let me do that? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> then he's going to disappear. <laughs> Which is hard to do in a, a little place like this. And then the last one I did. So see, I just brought um, these papers along. The snail. So here we have a base for the snail. I swear these are... You make it look so easy. <laughs> and this is going to be the little snail card. And again, I just cut out right from the designer series paper because I just didn't, do you want me to get started? Okay, yeah, doing it like that is kind of what I end up doing. Yeah, if you get it, there you go. There okay, you go. so we're gonna, I'm gonna put it back on us <laughs> and, and you can lift up the cards you're doing. This is too pain, oh, okay. painful <laughs> to watch. <laughs> yeah, Tim will go read a book, Kathy said. He'll go, yes, listen to a book on audio tape. Yeah. Actually, he's doing a really cool thing today. His family, they he has a, keep a cousin in Norway turning it's her 60th birthday and they are going to do a zoom call with the norwegian okay relatives which is yes. really awesome is this right where it goes down here in the corner uh yes and see then that's going to be your little tuck in and so you can leave all the little things you could put in there but i think this is just such a cute little size okay and then we'll finish the rest of that or or it'll look like that when it's done but there's your card now, isn't that fun? That's cute. And it just has a small amount then that you can write on. <laughs> so we're back. <laughs> but anyway, so the thing that's really cool about over in the back porch stampers is now this is going to be the weekly thing. So you have until next Wednesday to post what you do with this. And so if you enjoyed watching all of the, this must be eight or nine different ones that we made out of this, you're going to really enjoy watching all the other ones that people come up with. It's, I just think it's just so fun because, you know, you take an idea and we all put our own spin on it. We share together and it just helps us all be more creative. So I love the conversations, love the sharing over there. The smaller card piece that gets tucked is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And it's how you remember that is this is three by eight. So when you fold that in half, it's three by four. Yep. And then this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. But I will put the measurements on right on this. If in two weeks our Facebook lives are about <laughs> seven minutes long, we do one project. And I call it scraps. I know. No, I do have plans. We'll see if I brought this stuff with them. But anyway, but you know, I will say it's an interesting thing when we're talking about going on vacation because I go back and read your comments. I'd love to hear more on and what you bring. I think sometimes it we overwhelm ourselves with having so many different things to work with. You know, and I like to say that the way I like to work with things, I'll work with one, like bundle, one suite, something at a time, put those things out, or I'll work with one fold at a time and then bring in my papers. Sometimes it's just easier to be more limited and to focus on something and then really, really play with it. So I thought that's what I will do with the sand and sea set and then the the um, other new set that I ordered. And then beyond that, it's going to be... Next week, uh, we're going to do an, a new double one sheet wonder. Those are really fun. Are, are we doing a class when we're down here? Yeah. Are, and, are we're, oh, and we're doing a class, a great fun post class. If you saw that. So if you haven't joined the All Good Cards Club, we'd love to have you do it. Tim said, you're really doing a class down there? And I said, yes. You know, I um, our, the name of my business is Stamping on the Back Porch. And that is because we are very casual people. <laughs> Casual stampers, we can do something from anywhere. And you guys, I think we all, you know, we we love sharing ideas. We love community. And if things mess up, they just mess up. And, our, <laughs> and we're good, but <laughs> our porch is right over there. Yes. So watch for all these, but I will put a link to that too. It's $15 a month to join the All Good Cars Club. We have a fun weekend every month, and you can go back forever to see the PDFs, watch the videos, do all that. So good. I'm glad you guys like doing that. And I'd love to get comments about whether this is helpful because I, you know, this is kind of the way my mind thinks. I do love to learn an idea and then do a bunch of things. So see, Tim, I even made one for years to put on it. For How you. About now, that, to finish the reason yours. I'm looking at that is that when I was pointing at our balcony, I thought I would have been pointing 
that way. Oh, but it's because that's that's yeah. where it's at. But it's reversed. Yes, I don't so know. So we will go back to the balcony. But but thanks, you guys. Yes, and we will have fun. And you know, this is also part of fun. So I need to say that I love, I love being creative, creating, hanging out with you guys. Uh, so it, she does. it's definitely this is definitely being on vacation. And I kind of enjoy having limited supplies, working in a small space. It's just so different from normal life and doing a bunch of other things too. So and we totally appreciate you guys. As you know, I'm usually on vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tim, is, Tim is generally on vacation. So I don't know if it's much difference for me either, but the setting is different. But, but thanks guys. Oh, Valentine ones. Oh, these would be a darling Valentine's. Yes, they would. Well, so I can't wait to see what you guys, and you can make them into gift holders or something. It's just the idea of taking this kind of a design. Little, and there's pattern. little hearts on that. That's a Valentine card. And you can be as elaborate as you want. You can see I did really simple um, basic things because we're focused on this, but I can't wait to see what you guys do. Thank you so much. And yes, we're very available. Leave me, um, message me if you have any questions, or if I can help you in any way. And, a week and I'll from call you from the balcony. Be my pleasure. And a week from tomorrow is Karen's and my anniversary of getting engaged. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, I, yeah. I don't know what Tim's going to plan for that day, but <laughs> thanks guys so much. We It'll appreciate you. Bye. Goodbye.